Hey everyone, how's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I have a uh, 2000 Ford Ranger 4 liter. Customer's complaint is he can't put gas in it. So he, try to put, he tries to put gas in it and it clicks off, clicks off, clicks off, will not put gas in it. Or will not accept gas. So I figured, all right, let me hook my scanner up and see what we got going on. Um, a lot of times purge solenoid, not purge solenoid, vent solenoids can cause issues with this if they're stuck closed. You remember my own truck, my Silverado had that issue where it was stuck closed and I couldn't put gas in it. And then all of a sudden it would open up and then it would set a code for um, uh, EVAP leak or whatever or gas cap, you know, that that would come up on the, on the cluster um, because it would stay stuck open. When I say it's stuck open, I could put gas in it. Um, but anyway, so on this, I figured, let me hook the scanner up and see what I got going on. So I hooked the scanner up, and two things show up. P1000, which is a Ford-specific code, and that's Onboard Diagnostic System readiness, readiness Test Incomplete. That tells me somebody has cleared codes out of this thing recently. The other one is Fuel Pump Secondary Circuit High. Mm. And it's memory. So, but why? Of course, here we go. I don't think I'm getting a full story. So, did somebody drop the tank out of this, put a fuel pump in it, pinch a line going back together? Anything's possible. So, we're going to put this thing up in the air and we're going to take a look. Um, I got asked this question a couple times, actually, now. So, I figured, let me address it real quick. Right now, I have my King Bolin scanner on here. This is their, like, um, I forgot which model this is. The K10. I have this scanner hooked up here today. And somebody asked me, because I have this, I have the other um, King Bolin, uh, not King Bolin, launch, and then I have my snap-ons. People ask me, why? how do I decide which scanner I'm going to use? In all honesty, sometimes I decide I'm going to use this one. Sometimes I decide I'm going to use my snap-on. Sometimes I'm going to use my launch. The launch and this King Bolin are a little easier to use, I'll be honest with you, when it comes to watching data watching graphing data you know you can see like the heartbeat and stuff like that of whatever you're looking at you can watch ranges and stuff like that it's much easier to get into with these two scanners than it is the snap-on the snap-on is much faster it's also much more expensive so is there a rhyme or reason to me choosing one scanner over the other depending on what i'm doing not really it's you know, if it's something where I think I'm going to want to look at data, I will probably choose this scanner. Now, one thing I just noticed with this scanner, the 2000 model year on this, you can't do an automatic ID. I believe I can't do it with my Snap-on scanner either. Um, it's, a, it's not in the programming of the vehicle to allow that. However, with this scanner, I noticed it doesn't go earlier than 2003 for this model why I don't know so I entered as a 2003 so that's because I'm out in the parking lot the shop is very noisy today so I'm, I'm sorry if there's when I'm in the shop if you hear a lot of noise nothing I can do about it uh, we have the parts washer going we have air tools going it's just it's a busy day today so there's a lot of noise in there what I'm gonna do is when I get in the shop I'm gonna hook my snap on up and I'm gonna see what it shows because it just in case it shows something different I like I said I was out in the parking lot I figured all right, let me just enter it this way and see what happens. Usually, the information is all the same, or it'll tell you it can't connect. Um, I could try going in just straight OBD. I don't like doing that. Uh, OBD is just like the generic version of, hey, here's what's going on, and I usually don't like doing that if I can at all avoid it. So let's pull this thing in the shop. Let me hook the other scanner up to it, and let's see what that shows us. All right, so back in the shop with the Snap-on scanner. Just so you know, this thing only has 68,000 miles on it. According to the odometer, it is a pretty clean truck. I will give it that. Four by four Ford Ranger. It's actually a nice truck. Um, and yeah, this thing's coming up with the same codes. Oops, let me turn that off. There, you can see a P1000 OBD system checks incomplete. What that means is your monitors that have to get run in order to pass inspection stuff like that. Um, your monitors for misfire, for EVAP, for um, you know. Catalytic converter, uh, O2 sensors, EGR if you had it, stuff like that. 
all those monitors, it means they are not completed. They're not run because somebody cleared the codes out of this thing. The other one, uh, fuel pump secondary circuit high, it's a stored code, so I'm not overly worried about it, and it doesn't have a check engine light. Um, let me just see see pending codes, see if there's anything there. So let's back out of this, go to pending codes, and no codes. Okay. So I'm not overly concerned. Yeah. So... Like I said, the King Bolin, for some reason, didn't, didn't go down to 2000, what the vehicle is. Only went down to 2003. Oh, exactly what's the story there? I don't know. So, what do you do in a situation like this? Well, we're going to do a visual. So, let me get this thing set up and up in the air, and we're going to do a visual of the fuel neck and everything else. Alright, so I hate going in behind somebody else. And, like I thought, somebody just had this gas tank out. So, who knows what was done? Um... But I can see some stuff, and let me show you. I mean, not a big deal, but somebody just changed the fuel filter. They did this with the lines. This is not safe at all, um, because there's nothing really preventing the line from blowing off. They should have gone to there, where the plastic meets the metal line, but they didn't. They went there. That's number one. Another thing, if you look up here, okay, look close you can see here see the razor slice I smell fuel under here like there's no tomorrow so this hose is actually cut open all the way back to the to the neuro, uh, the bulge part that stops the hose from coming off this hose too yep there see it and it's cut past the clamp so right off the bat Excuse me. If you want me to pull a tank out of this thing, we're getting two new hoses. No way around that. I'm getting two new hoses from Ford. I'm also fixing that fuel line. You know why? Because my name is going to be on this. And I'm going to have to drop the tank. I'm going to have to find out first, did this all start before with not being able to put fuel in it, or did it start after? So that's the other thing I'm going to have to find out. The other area of concern on these with that issue is this. That tank back here, because that's where the vent solenoid is. You can see it on top there. And that a lot of times will create a problem with fueling. That line gets kinked. This one running up here. So who knows what's been done with what here. So. But I looked with the mirror on the top of the tank and I didn't really see anything. I didn't notice anything, let's put it that way. But I'm gonna have to find out. Did the problem start before or after this work was done? Because if I gotta start taking it apart, we're gonna do all this stuff regardless because I will not touch it otherwise. So let me find this information out. Hey guys, so I actually forgot to finish that video. Um, <clears throat> just driving home or getting ready to drive home and um, the customer never got back to us about that truck so don't know what's gonna go on with it it'll be Monday before I get back to it if they want to go for the repair then I'll go for a repair and I'll take care of it like I said we're gonna do everything we're gonna fix that fuel line we're gonna fix those hoses because uh, the way it is right now it's not safe and since my name's going on that it's gonna be done right or I'm not doing it at all um, so that's pretty much it. So once I know, you'll know. All right, guys. Hopefully you got something out of the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right. Have a great weekend. Keep wrenching.